everybody today we're going to do a product review on barton we'll get to that uh, website and talk about the prices and ingredients all that good stuff the scents that i got and then we'll get to that feeling beard so e this one's for you so let's go ahead and get to that website real quick all right so here's his main page and if you we scroll down we're going to see a list of his products which he has beard oil beard balm beard wash beard butter and he can also do a, a barton bundle as he calls it all right, so let's go ahead and click on the beard oil. Now here is a list of his oils. He has uh, 10, actually nine different scents and one unscented, so a total of 10 here on this page. And I have the smoked oud and amber, and I have that one on the very far left, which is the tobacco bourbon and leather. So let's just go ahead and click on one of these. Now it says up here, it says, $20 US, but I didn't notice that other pay said $20 uh, CAD, which is which is Canadian dollars. And I know uh, US dollars and Canadian dollars don't match up, so I can't, I don't remember what I actually purchased for it. So, but anyway, uh, so I would say $20, which is, which is average for, you know, beard oils in the United States. So that's right on track. And when it, and on this page here, he has a what is it section. We talked about Barton Beard Oil, the blend of five top quality organic carrier oils paired with a few specifically chosen essential oils working together to create a perfect beard experience. Then he's got the how to use, uh, the benefits of usage. Then he's got a little style and conditioning uh, meter here. But I don't see the actual list of ingredients. Although you can click on the second picture on here. Then click it up here again, and it will bring up a larger picture, and you can see the ingredients on the label on the bottle here. So let's talk about that real quick. So the ingredients for the beard oil, which is a one ounce uh, beard oil, is a hoba oil, sweet almond, grape seed, hemp seed, and castor seed oil. And of course the fragrances for the scent. All right, let's go back to uh, the main page and let's go to the beard butter. All right, so same thing, same scents here. Actually has, has one less on here, so I'm not sure which one that is, but uh, we can just click on any of these. And it's, again, it's gonna be the same effect here. You got the what is it, which is Barden Beard Butter is a blend of organic oil, butters, and beeswax paired with a few specifically chosen essential oils working together to create a perfect beard experiences. Then again, he has the how to use, the benefits of uses, same with the style and conditioning, conditioning meter. Um, but again, I don't see the actual listing of ingredients over here that I can readily see. So again, I gotta click on the second picture, click on the, the bigger picture here, which makes even a bigger picture. And so I can see the ingredients, which is shea butter, cocoa seed butter, a hoba seed oil, sweet almond oil, beeswax, and fragrances for the scent. All right, again, it was a two ounce beard butter for $20, so. All right, so let's talk about the uh, the scents real quick. Then we'll get to the fill and beard. Like I said, the first one I got is a smoked oud and amber. I mean, I like normal oud and I like amber, so I thought it'd be a good combination, but it's the, I didn't really care for this one too much. I mean, it's okay, but I just didn't really, didn't really care for it too much. And but it's probably this, the smoked part of the oud. I'm not sure uh, if it's actually uh, a scent called a uh, smoked oud they puts in here, or he makes it like a, a smoky scent added to the oud. I don't know how he creates this, but uh, just just didn't really do it for me. Uh, so I just not really care for this too much. But the second scent I got, the tobacco bourbon and leather. I definitely really enjoyed because you know I like leather and and I'm not sure how this one's blended together but it blends, blends really well um, but, but I definitely get the tobacco and leather mostly then get some of that bourbon there on the, the the back side so that's how it comes across my nose of course you know all of our noses are different and you know sometimes you know people people pick up certain scents more than other scents so and like I said, if, if we had if two people had the same same scented bottle, somebody might pick up more that like this one more pick up more the tobacco than they do the leather. Somebody pick, might pick up more the leather than they do the tobacco. So they all you know all noses work differently. But for me, definitely really enjoyed this one. 
like I said, the tobacco and leather uh, came out really nice with the you know, bourbon right there coming through on the, the end there. So just definitely really enjoyed this one. All right, so let's talk about the fill and beard now. So the fill and beard, when it comes to the beard oil, definitely kept my skin hydrated and moisturized. Never had a problem with itchiness or the beard or anything like that. And when it came to the beard hair itself, definitely kept my beard hair nice and soft all day. So definitely really enjoyed this one. So definitely a good job there. And when it came to the beard butter, definitely did a good job too. Got my beard nice and soft all day, so I can't say anything about that. So definitely really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to a uh, recommendation I might have. So let's go back to the website for that. And that is, if you go up to the, the uh, far top left, you'll see the menu button. Now it does have an ingredients glossary where it does list all the ingredients on here and talks about their benefit. But you know, again, like on the actual page, the beard oil page and beard butter page, it didn't actually tell me what the ingredients are on there without having me click on those. So, which means if I'm looking at multiple different products, I got to click that picture, click the other picture again to, to bring up a, a bigger picture enough to me to see. So, to make it easier, it might be cool to add the list of ingredients on this page or even add it on the, the, the beard oil pages page itself, maybe on the main beard oil page and the main uh, beard butter page and so forth like the bomb page or, or even add to this page here the, the greenish glossary uh either way that we can we can just look at real quick like without having to click multiple times to to, to find the actual ingredients you know you can just add like add another section on here of the beard oil and the ingredients the beard butter and the ingredients the beard bomb the ingredients and so forth but like i said a while ago just add it to the main page itself so Either way, that's, that's one of my recommendations, and overall, I think that's it. Because um, when it comes to the in uh, scent profiles, and you click on like the beard oils, the scent profile is actually listed in the title itself. So there's only like two of them, so you can easily see it real quick. So I don't think really in this case it's a necessity to have actual a scent profile page, but it could be just whimsical to have one anyway. So anyway that's my thoughts and remember keep, keep your business stashes healthy, healthy. till next, next video, video.